Everybody know I bring the box in. in. I'm the one your friends ask about. I'm the one that got away. That's me. People taking bets on the date that I fall off. I be in the booth yelling. Not Yo, what's good, guys? Gotta start off by thanking all you guys that have downloaded the the mixtape, Same Difference. Just blown away by the feedback from that and all you guys' support. I think we're almost at 30,000 streams and a bunch of downloads, and you guys have just been going crazy with that, and I'm super appreciative. You guys are the shit. I love you guys. Um, keep pushing that to your friends. We want to keep that rolling, like I always say, but it's true. We're independent artists, and we're only here because of you guys, and the more the, the music spreads, it's all because of you guys. We don't have any labels or anybody pushing us besides our friends and fans, so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's been a long time coming working on this project. We've been doing a lot of things behind the scenes this last year, including working on the project, a lot of other things. Um, 2015 is going to be a big year, but we're really excited to have the project out. Um, I hope you guys dig it. I hope you guys got some good questions for me. Make sure, as always, uh, for those that are new to the streams, uh, go follow me on Twitter, at Packy Raps. Um, tweet your questions using the hashtag AskPack, and we'll be scrolling through those on Twitter and coming up with some to answer here. So we'll see how, uh, how long we're doing this today. But without further ado, let's get to some questions. How long has Same Difference been in the works? Um, man, pretty much, I don't want to say a full year just because the parlay came out pretty much exactly a year ago. And um, I don't usually start working on a new project till a few months after because I get everything out there on one project and s pretty much say everything I need to say and then take a little break from writing usually for a few months. So. Probably about 10 months in the making on Same Difference. Um, it's a process, though. I mean, I think I mentioned this on the last stream. You you make a song or two that really sparks the next project, and then maybe you take a break from it for a little while, determine the direction you want to take it, make some more songs. So it's a process, but I would say it's been about 10 months of, of beat selection and writing and rewriting and recording and all that, So and then putting together a marketing scheme. But yeah. About 10 months in the making. How did making a song with Audio Push come about? Um, shout out to Audio Push. That was cool as hell for them to do that. I've I've been a fan of Audio Push um, ever since. The, I don't know if those of you that know Green Scheme, those are my boys, Q and Dags. And uh, I remember a while back, I flew home back home to Michigan. And uh, they picked me up from the airport, and they were playing this song, and it was Shine by Audio Push. And I was just like, dang, this is like the illest song I've ever heard. And I just looked into their music, became a big fan of them. And um, as we were working on the project, I had this song and I was just like, man, they would be dope on this. I didn't know them at all, didn't have any connections with them. But we reached out to them and their people and uh, actually didn't hear anything right away and kind of just mentally moved on. And then I remember all of a sudden I was shopping for something we were in the me and moti were at the mall and all of a sudden got a got a call from their people and they're they're like yeah the guys are all about it uh sorry we're late can we still can we still do it and of course i was like hell yeah and uh they sent it over the next day they had it they were super quick with it um they killed those verses that's one of my favorite songs on the joint so that was really cool shout out to them what is the most emotional song that you've written uh, definitely my foundation off off this one. There's always been some in the past. Defining moment was I've mentioned a bunch of times was a big one, um, but my foundation was was big for me. I, it's definitely I really appreciate the feedback on that one, especially. I see a lot of you guys really feel that one, and that's awesome to me because it's definitely a little scary sometimes putting that personal stuff out there, and it's not typically you know what you're gonna hear from especially rap artists, but artists in general and it just, I got to the point where I was just like, man, I mean, I want to, you know, I always want to talk about stuff that's real to me and stuff that's important. And that's just something that, I mean, is super important to me. I want to touch on that. And I'm really glad a lot of you guys can relate to it. But yeah, that that one is definitely the most personal, emotional song I've, I've written to date. 
How about them Spec 16s? Do you know if they will be coming or no? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the deal is, for those of you that don't know, if we get um, same difference to the top three for the month on Audio Mac, top three albums of the month, then we'll bring back Spec 16. Today is December 16th, so a month from now, January 16th, I'd love to bring back Spec 16s. We'll do them for all of 2015. But we got to get same difference to the top three for the month on Audio Mac. I think it's at like number 33 right now, which is awesome for the first. It's been out for two days now, not even. And uh, so that's sick. We're at number 33 for the month. Let's try to get that to the top three. I definitely want to bring them back. I know you guys like those and... Um, it keeps it keeps stuff fresh, keeps uh content out there for you guys. So let's do that. Make sure you go to our website, packyraps.com, download it, tell your friends, stream it, favorite it, do all that good stuff. I asked you this the other day about how come you don't mention finding floss. Finding floss is as good as the rest. <laughs> um, shout out to you for being a day one fan. Um, finding floss for those of you that don't know. Here's how like. We always talk about Familiar with Floss was our first mixtape. Here's how shit really started um, for us is Moti and I, back in the day, we had this thing called the Never Ending Mixtape. And we would, pretty much it was when we first started making music. So we didn't, our stuff didn't sound professional. We didn't, we didn't have our sound. We didn't know exactly what we were even doing at that point. So our plan was, okay, let's make a song put it out, see how people feel about it, make another song, put it out. It was like kind of a every month type of thing. And uh, that was called the Never Ending Mixtape. I want to say we had about 30 of those. And then, correct me if I'm wrong, Moti, but Finding Floss, we took our best of those songs and put them, and on, put them on a mixtape. So we had... Familiar with Floss. No. The, yeah. That was Finding Floss, right? No, but we took songs from that. Oh yeah, you're yeah. No, we just changed the name of the the mixtape when we made familiar with Floss. It wasn't no, because Finding Floss, Finding Floss had like old stuff on it that wasn't on familiar with Floss. Yeah. That's oh, you're saying. you're saying the never ending. Yeah, mixtape. we took the okay, never ending yeah, mixtape. Yeah. We took so the never ending mixtape. We took our best songs from that, our favorite songs, and put them on a project called Finding Floss, and then. Um, that eventually we found our we kind of found our sound between then and familiar with floss got comfortable with our recording process and like Moti really started producing got real you know proud of the way we made music at that point and made familiar with floss and then after that we made more mixtapes and finding floss we took down from all our sites and everything and it's not available anymore and the reason for that is pretty much it's not the most professional quality of sound like we're still proud of the beats and the lyrics and all that but just sound quality engineering it it's not the same as familiar with floss and about that life in the sunroom and just not a, a product that we're proud of i mean we're proud of it because it was our first thing but looking back now it's not something i would want somebody to hear and be like oh so this is this is packy this is how he sounds you know i'm not impressed so we had to take that down, but shout out to you for knowing about Finding Floss. That's back in the day type stuff. What's next for you guys? Hopefully you guys will be touring soon. Um, yeah, that's definitely on the radar. Um, I want to tour in the spring probably. Um, again, as independent artists, it's not the easiest thing for us to just be like, all right, let's go hit the road. Um, but we're definitely, we got it in the works. Um I, I know I sometimes will hit you guys with like where should we come tour make sure you pay attention to that because we really do look at that when you guys give us feedback on cities to go tour in um, so look out for those type of questions uh, but yeah the goal is probably springtime we've got a show back home in Michigan um, kind of kind of celebrating the release the same difference a little bit um, also just always good to go back home and, and do some local shows there uh, with friends and fam and that type of stuff got some great local artists there on the bill and 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 people that i'm really a fan of and and enjoy their music and so we'll be doing that um near the end of january 
back in Lansing. That's the only show on the radar right now, but Spring Tour will hopefully be in the works, so look out for that. If you could, if you could give the you of five years ago one piece of advice, what would it be? Wow, really good question. Um... I don't know. I probably the only things I can think of are just cliche stuff. But it's real, but it's cliche. Um, I always say when people say what advice would you give to me? I'm trying to make music or something. One of my biggest things is invest in yourself. Um, no one's going to believe in you like you do. So if you really think you're going to do something, don't count on other people to give you handouts and do this for you and do that for you. You got to go go do it and I mean Plenty of people get screwed along the way, like, just because someone did you wrong or screwed you somehow doesn't mean you can't stay on the path and keep killing it, but invest in yourself, um, trust yourself, take advice from people that you respect, but trust yourself, I mean, if you've got a goal and a mission, don't just, you know, try to do what everyone else is doing, I guess that's one of the biggest things is, it's very easy, like, especially when I first started making music. You have your idols, you have the people you looked up to, and you see how they did it, and you want to be like them. But the further you get along into it, you realize that you're you, and you have your own lane, and you have your own things to say, and you have your own ways to do it, and the way that it's always been done isn't necessarily the best and coolest way. So think outside the box. If you've got an idea just because it seems crazy and weird, doesn't mean it is it might be the best way to go but someone just hasn't had the balls to do it or someone hasn't thought of it yet so trust your gut i mean one of the biggest themes was same difference um and i hope that it came across is i would say be yourself that's one of the biggest themes of same difference and it's just i don't know that's something that's really been hitting home with me for the last you know year and it's one of the biggest themes on same difference and i hope that came across so Favorite Eminem song? Um, I haven't heard the new project, I gotta be honest. Is it tight? I definitely gotta listen to that. Um, Eminem's definitely a big inspiration for any rapper, I feel like he should be. Um, what was the second part of that question? Any song? Was or any um, um, As a pure lyricist, some of those his verse on 313 on infinite is like one of my favorite just rap verses as a lyricist um my name is is always a banger i don't know i i sometimes on tour like i'll just put on all L m albums and i'll just be like wow this dude really killed it like song after song is just a amazing song i can't but yeah Are you working on any songs? Always, man. I got, I mean, we didn't put everything that we had worked on on Same Difference either. I'm, um, and then in the meantime, um, been working on stuff. We got a few songs in the stash right now. Um, yeah, I even got a couple cool features on deck. But maybe one of these streams the next couple months will give you guys a little taste of stuff but i'm i'm not one of those dudes i i hate when guys are like before they even put out a like they're they're hyping their next project and their next project's about to drop and they're out here like i'm already working on my next project like and then, and then they're hyping that well man you you got this new project that you just worked on these like 12 11 12 songs or whatever that no one's heard focus on that like that should be your best work to this point and then you move on to the next one so that's where I'm at. I'm definitely working, but I don't want to even really think about it, especially talking to you guys. I don't really even want to think about new music. I just want to focus on the same difference. I want to push that, make some music videos, hopefully get out on the road. So, yeah, but I'm always working. <laughs> what does your regular day look like? Man, lately it hasn't – it's been super boring because it's just me and Moti out here um, right now and – we're just working, like, basically get up, maybe work out, get some food, sit down at our computers, fire off emails, like, we're, like I said, we're the, we're the artist and the label, so we're 
trying to get in contact with people in the industry always um i'm always working on new music and writing um but yeah it's just a lot of working and chilling and then we'll go you know once in a while on some weekends and stuff have some drinks but yeah we're pretty much cooped up right now focused on the project and everything pretty soon like i said we're hoping to tour in the spring and um we'll actually be out of this current uh studio and going somewhere else relatively soon too so but right now life daily life is like pretty boring just no stuff not that glitz and glamour how do you describe the change in your music as time has gone by if any um good question i guess i haven't really even thought about that um on the same difference promo vid i kind of referenced like familiar with floss we had more of like a pop electronic vibe um sunroom was intentionally made to be like this summer chill album um about that life was more like hip-hop and rap like 808 beats and i was focused on writing dope rap verses uh and then i thought the parlay was for me it was a culmination of like trying to you know the lyrical stuff but also combining that with the story um and we we didn't have you know much of that pop that was still a, a very hip we had like groovy chick on there um but other than that there was also just a lot of like hip-hop stuff and like i was touching on earlier same difference um i wanted one of the things i wanted to focus on was experimenting more with just like song making and there's a lot of intricacies in it like um i spent way more time on same difference than i ever have on little like background things and um ad libs and um just little intricacies in the songs um and I, I definitely think as a writer and as an artist, a recording artist, I discovered a lot in the process of making Same Difference. I spent a lot of time in the studio with this one. Um, we, we have a new studio set up where I don't need Moti as much to be in, to engineer. Um, I can do a lot of things on my own, so I spent a lot of time just experimenting with this. But I, it's tough for me as the artist to really go back and say the difference in the music because I always just sit down and write how I feel and do the things I want to do. So it's more probably an evolution of me as a person than it even is the music itself. It's tough for me to evaluate that from the inside. But All right, um, before we go... Um, I want to uh, thank you guys for sticking around. We got a little something cool for you, I think. Um, I guess before I go, too, thank you all for downloading Same Difference. Um, it's up. It should be available literally anywhere you guys want it now. But we still want you to go download. We have the free download. want you to go there, download it, stream it, tell your friends. The better we can do on that, the, we can bring back Spec 16s, uh, get some more eyes on us that way. Um, so definitely keep pushing that. Um, but if not, iTunes. Yeah, it's if not, it's on it's on Spotify, it's on Google Play, it's on all that. It's on iTunes. I mean, it's it's five bucks I think on iTunes. It's, it's the cheapest we could make it on iTunes. We want you guys to get this for free, but I know a lot of you sometimes just want the music on certain sites because it's easier like itunes and so we just want to get the music out there so it's up there um and it's as cheap as we could make it um but yeah uh before we go we got are we good okay, we're good. okay. um sorry i guess i cut out there for a second but here's a little uh coupon code 20 percent off the the spec gear store um if you put that in it'll go till midnight eastern um and it's the spectatorsgear.com or just go to my website packyraps.com and click on gear um you'll find it but check that out appreciate you guys tuning in like i always say we're gonna try to do these uh streams more often i think we've done what three of them now um three or four and we'll keep them rolling um look out for music videos keep spreading the word about same difference thank you guys so much for the support it really does mean the world to us and uh I'll see you guys next time.